Welcome back, everyone, to CNEagles.com. We're joined now by the head coach of the Carson and Lady Eagles, Mike Mincy, after Carson picks up a 14-point quarterfinal win in the conference tournament over Catawba. I know you're really proud of your basketball team right now. Well, I am. You know, uh, one of the things we talked about down in the locker room was how tough this last month has been, knowing that we were a much better basketball team than what we had displayed. And a lot of times it had been at home, you know, giving up some home games. But, uh, you know, after what happened at Newberry on Saturday with, with, with the March Madness, so to speak, that happened over there, they knew this was a great opportunity that they had been given to get back in the top four and host this game. And, and I really, we kind of got off to a slow start. But then we put the ball in the basket, got you know got to 39 points at the half, and uh, shot 60% from the field in the second half. Just uh, a great defensive effort and, and an even better probably offensive effort. Yeah, you mentioned 60% in the second half, but Carson Newman didn't get a field goal until, I believe, 13 minutes were left right. to go. And a lot of points coming at the free throw line, but still finding a way to maintain that 10, 15-point edge, really. Yeah, and I'll give, you know, Catawba deserves a lot of credit. They were defending us really hard, making life tough on us, and uh, – you know, I knew if we could get the, finally get the ball in the basket and, and kind of get the crowd into it, we had the home court advantage. You know, we need we had a good turnout tonight. We appreciate all the students and, and faculty coming out and watching us play and uh, cheering us on. But, uh, uh, you know, we, we just got to where we started scoring the ball a little bit, and that got us in that 39 points, and it carried over into the second half. We didn't get start off again in the second half very good, but then once we got rolling, you know, we got a lot of good stuff out of a lot of different people. A lot of great performances by a lot of individual players, but really at the top of the list, J.J. McLaughlin, another triple-double. Uh, really did a lot of good things for your basketball team. You know, I, I don't even know what to say. I, you know, I, I don't know that I've had a player to get a triple-double to begin with. I think when J.J. got it against Tusculum, there's only eight people in the entire country that had a triple-double. And then she has two in one year. Uh, I don't know how many people have done two triple-doubles in one year. I'm sure there's probably somebody out there. But, you know, look at her size. And, and I didn't even know she had a triple-double. Coach Potts came up to me there late in the game. He showed me the stat sheet and said, I want you to look at J.J.'s stat line. She got a triple-double, and, and I had no idea. But, uh, you know, she played really hard. She guarded their best player the majority of the game, chased her around, uh, played 36 minutes, rebounded, took care of the ball, had 12 assists. So, um, you know, hats off to J.J. She, she, she played a heck of a ball game. Now your team gets to move on, gets to go to Greenville, South Carolina for the semifinals on Saturday, and then chance if you win that ball game to be in the championship game coming up on Sunday. How fired up is this team going into a couple of days of practice than the trip? Well, you know, at this point in the year, you want people that still want to play basketball. And after what happened down at Newberry, you know, we, we've got some excitement. And then, you know, because of the things that happened, we got this home game. We've had excitement here with our players. Uh, they're not ready for it to end. You know, they were ready to play this ball game tonight, wanting to get back to the Final Four because I think Carson Newman as a program has been to the Final Four uh, or to the semis, you know, maybe all of all the ni nine or ten straight years other than last year we didn't go. So we're, we're, we're happy to be back there. I think we play LR, very good opponent, you know, tough ball. T it's going to be a tough ball game, but uh, our kids had a mission uh, once we got that home game that we wanted to get the firm and take advantage of this home court advantage in the quarterfinals, and I think they did just that, and I know they're really excited uh, to head out of here on Friday and, and take on a good LR team. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.